now one o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday and the vendors are still lining up to come in so I guess you don't have to get here early really need a bicycle or a scooter or even a small motorcycle since they let you ride them around but the stands are just all over the place all haphazard here there tucked away and you're gonna miss something if you try to walk through there's no organized way so bring a bicycle This is a unique Harley, it's a twin cylinder, flat twin, ooh check out the gas headlamp, side valve, exhaust over inlet, front cylinder, rear cylinder, probably chain drive. Foot clutch, hand shift, Bosch Magneto, huh? No front brake. Very cool. Speaking about flat twins. Set up with electric start, you can't even see it. The only thing I would hand it have it needs to have hand shift. But it's damn cool. Should put his phone number on. Is that a Triumph Hurricane? In green? What the heck? I never saw a green one. Somebody painted that. That was an exercise by Craig Vettel. I'm going to guess 25K. Your hurricane. I uh, it's the people that I'm with, yeah. Is that them? Uh nope. nope. There he's he's over a couple aisles. Tell if that's a Hodaka. Or a DKW. It's none of those things. I don't know what it is. Check this out. A little expansion chamber. There's a plug in the side of the cylinder. Running it with no air filter, that's not a good thing. Looks 
to be a new old stock Trackmaster frame. With, ooh, that's notchy. Cheriani trees. Indian arrow. Pretty much put it up in the Indian Oh, it's a warrior. So here's the single cylinder version. Maybe that's the arrow, I don't know. Kidney headlights, wide front, spool front wheel with no brakes, Maltese cross mirror, pan shovel, SNS carburetor. Finned rockers, finned airbox, custom push rod tool, tubes, hardtail, probably rides like crap, but I like it. Ooh, that's a real suicide shift. So, foot clutch. Like a car, reach down, take your hands off the wheel, and put it in gear. Sixty-seven FLH. Here's another one. Ooh, look at the dagger on the sissy bar. It's a real knife welded in. Oh, this is actually pretty good too. I wonder if it's that XA Springer. Oh, and it's a knucklehead. Horn broke. Watch for finger. Oh, it has a removable yeah. roof. Do you remember Reading beer? I still got that. It's still got the bike. Not good. It had the perfect amount of sweat on it to match the bike. I thought maybe it was still full. Thank you. Thank you. That's a Harley. I think that's an M65 Legro. Something like that. Trumpet with megaphones. Right. Motor, Mustang scooter. Cool. I have one of those that I've never finished. Looking for CEV electronics, switches, turn signals, and I'm not finding it. Some kind of 
Cushman Highlander. They sold them at Sears. There's a Nura car. Uh, I'm guessing that's a Harley Hummer. Set up like a DKW. Indian Power Troopers. It's not an Explorer, it's a Phantom, which was their MX bike. It's a 250 Phantom. Basically, Osa's answer to the Taco Persang. Oh, here's one of them Benelli Chinese Italian Groms and a YCF flat tracker 147. Two grand. I just sold one. How about a Nighthawk with a quick silver fairing? You don't see many Nighthawks and you don't see many quick silver fairings. And you especially don't see them on Nighthawks. I don't know if I'd take that off or leave it on. Six thousand miles. Oh, Harley Sprint's falling from the sky. Two grand with title. Pretty good price. No motor. Riverside. Those were sold at Montgomery Wards. BS! Cases say it's a 49 EL, which would be a knucklehead with pan head tops, front and rear invader wheels, girder front end, SU English carburetor. But I bet you're not getting very far that tiny gas tank. So this is a 73 Bonneville. Yep. And this is oil frame, but they got the frame geometry down right in 73. And you got the five speed and disc brakes. So if you're looking for a Bonneville to ride, you don't want to pay up for a pre-oil frame. This is a damn nice bike. the three wheelers. These have a following. Well, for forty eight hundred dollars they should, huh? in the 60s. Wow, a pair of TC100s. 
with the high low range transmission. And I'm guessing that's a TX125. No, it's an SX175. Some crazy go carts, bumper cars. didn't realize it was a flathead but that makes sense it's now. A billion, yeah. Yeah, it's a flathead, yeah. Cuz the early BMWs were when I first now, walked over here I thought someone put one of them Chinese Chang'ang motors in it but it's got the XA1 stamp. No, it's, it's an XA. I, I, That's freaking cool. Very many of out No, not they're so big, not so big. Here is a Marmon twin cylinder motorized bicycle. I don't think I've ever seen sidecar that has two wheels. I'm guessing it's homemade out of a bomb. But we have to check this out. Nope. It's fiberglass? Oh, I thought maybe it was made out of a bomb. Made out of a gasoline or fuel oil or fuel out of fiber. Oh, okay. All right, an airplane fuel tank. Yeah, okay. I think I see a zoomed out Bella. Now we have the Suburbanette back in our shop, which is a hot rod version of this. Basically, it's this scooter with the panels missing. Pretty neat. I like that. Oh. No, it's not a road car. Something with a Predator motor. Is that a uh, tote goat, maybe? Here we got a Royal Enfield. Or maybe the Indian version. It's the Indian. Oh, look at this. It's it's a woodsman. It looks like a woodsman with the 21-inch front wheel and the removable headlight. 
but I don't recall them having a speedometer. Okay, it's missing the compression release, which you really do need to start one of these. There it is. Just have to add, the Woodsman was their competition bike. It was meant for racing scrambles. That's why all this was removable. And it would have had an up pipe. The Ural side car. Don't know about those. The kicker cover. Jawa. With the vent holes in it. Almost to where. I think. Is that a Planeta? Yeah, that one there. Yep. Is that a Planeta? <laughs> this motorcycle here? Is that a Planeta? Is that an Ish Planeta? It's a Russian motorcycle. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay. That's a particular model. Oh, it might be. Yeah. Okay. All right. I am not up on it. I think it's a Planeta, but I'll have to Google it real quick. Yeah. There's you got your Soviet tires, too. Soviet tires made in USSR. Pretty cool. Yeah, so th this is a Simpson. These were East German. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kind of part, kind of thing, so. They used to come from the factory with the story cars around. Wow. You know, there are expatriate Russians and East here, because I have people buying old Urals and Neppers and, and right. CZs, and there are always some I got old a, world guy. I got a ton of Dnep I got three three motors. Neeper stuff. For Dnep for Dnep yeah. motors. They're got they're frames. hard to get right now because the you know yeah. that was in Ukraine. So yeah, that stuff's hard to find. And there I didn't know they made chest protectors that small. It almost set up for a Chucky doll. It's a Sears. I think it's a saber. These are sort of unique. It's an air-cooled coupe two-stroke. 